The position is that India, of course, has sought deportation of Vijay Malia on the grounds that he is wanted for questioning in India in several cases and that his passport has been revoked. Britain's response now is that Malia has a right to stay in Britain as a permanent resident, a position that he has obtained earlier over the years with much of foresight, of course. It says that the revocation of his passport can restrict his travel but not terminate his stay and that it is not of itself ground for deportation. Britain has indicated its political willingness to act over Malia, but the Indian case would have to rest on very firm legal grounds. The next step clearly would have to be an extradition move and that would mean many next steps and long ones. For a start, a charge sheet in an Indian court, a court order from India, on the basis of which India would seek extradition, and the UK government would then consider that request and pass the extradition order if it finds the legal basis sound. Malia could appeal against such an order in the magistrate's court with possibility of further appeal if necessary to a higher court, the Supreme Court and even the European Court of Human Rights. And that will be a long haul. In the courts in the UK, the Indian argument will have to be heard on merit, the case would be heard on merit and it would have to be a very strong loophole-free case. In the past, that has not always been the case.